guys, I am Muchekwa L Ndangemi with Meds XYZ and welcome to lesson 83 of which in this lesson we will be dealing with nine right angle triangle and I believe you guys watched uh, lesson 82 which was dealing with right angle triangle. With nine right angle triangle what you have to know is that to solve the nine right angle triangle you use the area rule, you use the area rule of which this is what I will be showing you guys on in this lesson and then uh, also you use the sign rule of which sign rule I will deal with it in the in lesson 84 of which it will be uploaded uploaded tomorrow and also you also use the cosine rule of which this one it will be uh, in lesson 80 85 this is for lesson 84 and today we will be dealing with this one which is lesson 83 all right, guys. Uh, with this, with the with, with the area rule, what you have to understand is that we have three area rules, of which I will show you guys uh, after I have shown you about this two. This two triangle, this two uh, sketches that you see here. The first one is to illustrate how to how do you uh, to under, for you to understand more about the angle of elevation, and the second one here is the illustration of the angle of depreciation. The angle of elevation that you see here is always an angle between the horizontal and the side up to an object and the side li up line to an object like this one. This one is, this line is our horizontal, horizontal and this line here is our side up. This line is our side up to an object. So this angle here is the angle of elevation. And the second sketch, which is this one, is showing you the angle of depreciation, which is always between the horizontal, which is this line here. This is the horizontal as well. And also the side down to the object. So this line here, which is going downward, this also illustrate that this our angle is the angle of depreciation. This is the difference between the two angles, which is the angle of elevation and also the angle of depreciation. Understand that the angle of depreciation and the angle of elevation, they are always equal. The only difference is the direction that the other one is going to, it's, it's between the horizontal and the side down, and the other one is between the horizontal and the side up line to an object. All right, guys, after you see this, I hope you will be able to answer all the questions concerning a nine right angle triangle when it is. Uh, the angle of elevation or angle of depreciation. All right, guys. Uh, moving on, let me show you about the. Um, let me show you about uh, the 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 area rule of um, of the of the right angle triangle, of which this is the area rule here. Of which in the area rule, the first triangle, which is triangle ABCD, oh, sorry guys, which is a triangle ABC. Of which in this triangle our angle is at angle A. It's at this point. Then the angle of A is opposite to the side of A, which is this one, and the, the angle of C is opposite to the side of C, and the angle of B is opposite to that side. Alright, uh, the first uh, the, which is this one, the rule says area of uh, triangle A B C D if angle is uh, if the angle that we are given is angle A. That means that the area will be half BC, of which BC is the side BC, sine of angle A, which is this one. That means that if the angle is at angle A, in the area rule, we don't include the side of A, of which you can see here that we only included the side of B and the side of C, but then with A, we only included the angle. Okay, moving on to the next triangle, which is still a triangle of ABC, but this time the angle is at B, not at A. With the first one, the angle that we were given, it was at A, and with this one, the angle that we have is at B. Then the area rule for this one, guys, I, I did write this one so that you guys can understand how do we come up with the, with, the, uh, with the area rule. Then this one, it will be half, the side of A, and also the side of C, multiplied by the sine of B, which is the angle of B. Alright, uh, I hope you guys understand the logic now that if we are given the angle of B, then we don't include the side of B in the, in the, in the, in the equation of an area rule. For this one, it's half AC, the sine of B. That tells us that if we are given only the, the angle of C, which is for this triangle here, that means that in our area it will be half the side of A, the side of B, multiplied by the sine of C. 
all right this will be the area of this triangle given that the angle that we are given is at c all right guys uh i hope you guys understand that if we're given the side of b the if we're given the side uh the the angle of a we don't include the side of a in the area we only use the two side which is bc and then the second one is a half b a c sine of b because we are given the side of the angle of b this this rules only applies when it's a non right angle triangle if it's a right angle triangle then you have to use trigonometric ratios as i've explained that uh in the in, the, in our previous lesson which is which was lesson 82 with those rules they only apply when the triangle that you are given is a non right angle triangle then you apply all those rules even if you are given maybe all the angles inside the triangle the angle that you chose that you will use when you are solving for the area that's the angle that you won't include its side to the equation like for example if we were given all these three triangles but then you choose to use only the side of the, the angle of a that means that your equation it will be half bc still the sine of a but then if you, you choose to use the angle of c then the, your, the your your equation will change to about this this one then i hope you guys understand this one as well and as well as the angle of depreciation and the angle of elevation that the angle of elevation guys is the angle between the horizontal and the side up and then the angle of depreciation is the angle between the horizontal and the side down and also when you are de dealing with dry, right angle triangle we only have three things three things that we consider the area rule which is the one that i did in this lesson and also the sine rule which we will do in our lesson, next lesson which is lesson 84 and also the cosine rule which we will deal with that in lesson 85. I hope you guys will tune in to again for lesson 84 that, so that you will understand more about um, the application of uh, the area rule and also the sine rule. Alright guys, thank you and I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel which is MedsexYZ so that you can help us grow and we can upload more videos concerning magics. Thank you.